Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another cool mod today and this mod is called the Aquaculture mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. This mod not only works single player but it works for multiplayer. So welcome to Aquaculture, an expansion of Minecraft's fishing system. There's a whole variety of new fishes that you can catch and make nice fillets and eat them. There are 32 plus new fishes in total. There are also a lot of miscellaneous random loot that you could obtain while fishing that will make your experience worthwhile. There are 12 plus miscellaneous items that you can obtain. So as we look into my chest, I have listed out and placed down a lot of items that you can catch while you're fishing. So here are some carp, some tuna, some red groupers, some swordfishes, there's some sharks, whales, you can actually catch a whale. There's a lot of other miscellaneous stuff like a note in a bottle, we have ourselves some lock chest, treasure chest, and a box. And that's really cool. There's also some driftwood. And if you guys ever played, let's say, if you guys ever played Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon, you guys know what I mean. I, I'm pretty sure the modder actually added in the driftwood from uh, Harvest Moon and the tin can from Animal Crossing. I'm not sure if he got that idea from there, but you know what? It feels like he got that idea from there. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves a iron fishing rod. So all you need is a stick. Uh, two ingots and two strings and there you go. So the moment you hold the iron fishing rod on your hands you will notice a few bugs. The forum creator did mention these bugs on his thread and they'll soon be fixed. The iron fishing rod is inverted and it's facing the opposite direction and also as you cast the fishing rod uh, the string won't show up. Those are two minor bugs but they're soon gonna be fixed and always remember that all of these fishes are biome specific such as the carp you can only find them in fresh water meaning the forest, the plains and the extreme hills. So you could just cast your rod, and if you have the Environmental Sounds Atmosphere Simulator mod, you could hear the noises from the ocean, and it'll sound amazing. So just relax, and just fish out in the ocean, and catch some fishes. Alright, cool. I could just get myself one fish, but it doesn't really matter. I have caught myself a bass. Now, what you're going to do with these fishes are you can't eat them raw. You have to turn them into fish fillets by putting them inside a crafting box. Depending on what fish you place inside the crafting box will depend on how much fish fillets you'll receive. So, if I have myself a uh, perch and place inside there, I'm going to receive two fish fillets. If I put myself a swordfish, I receive five fish fillets. So, it really does matter what fish you catch in order to get yourself more fish fillets. So, uh, so yeah, it's really cool. And what you could do with these fish fillets is put them inside a furnace and cook them up. And once you have cooked them up, you can go ahead and eat them and you'll restore 2.5 hunger bars. Now all fishes that you catch will craft into fish fillets, such as the whale and the squid, they craft into a raw whale steak and an ink sack. Let me place a whale into a crafting box and convert them into some raw whale steaks. If you cook them up, you'll receive yourself some cooked whale steaks, which restore a good amount of hunger bars. You could eat the whale steaks by themselves, but it's best to craft yourself a whale burger. Now this whale burger will restore a huge amount of hearts, it will probably restore all your hunger bars. So if you haven't already noticed, I have myself a little chest over here that has some food and over here we have ourselves some Neptunium tools. You can, you can find Neptunium bars by fishing. They are really rare, but um, when you happen to find these bars, you can craft yourself a whole variety of tools and armor. These new tools and armor are two to three times stronger than diamonds. Now I love the note in the bottle, it's really cool, like right when you right click it, it says something funny, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it does, like this one, it says how I mine for fish, that's that's kind of funny. Ah oh, Steven, I'm laughing really hard. <laughs> that, that's good to know Porkchop. Another cool thing are these boxes that will give you random loot, such as the box, the locks box, and the treasure chest. When you right click them, you'll receive yourself a random loot. The box being the lowest quality of receiving an item, the lock box is like in the middle, and the treasure chest will give you of course the best items, such as a gold ingot or maybe an iron ingot or a diamond. Now a driftwood is like a piece of wood that has drifted off of sea and um, what you do with that is place inside a crafting box or your little crafting box inside your player's inventory and you'll receive yourself four planks. When you place a squid inside a crafting box you'll receive yourself two insects. Seaweed and algae are edible. Tin cans are useless. And there seems to be another bug that I'm not sure if the forum creator knows about it but I'm interested of reading all these note in the bottle so I was right clicking and I come out with an error so that's uh, another bug. But overall this mod is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching my review. Thank you guys so much for rating my video. Rating my video really makes me happy. I really appreciate it guys. So anyways, if you guys are still interested in this mod and you want to know how to install this mod for a server and for a client, let's go ahead and do this. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and install this mod. This mod is really easy to install, so we shouldn't have any errors. But the first thing I'm going to want to do, of course, before installing this mod is to go here to Options and Force Ultimate Game. The reason why I'm going to force Ultimate Game is because I have mods currently installed. If you guys have mods currently installed, I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods. If it's not compatible, you will get black screen and you won't be happy. So Options, Force Update, and Login to download a brand new Minecraft thought jar in which we're going to mod. I'm going to go ahead and leave this updating, so I'm going to minus this and you're gonna get the downloads from my description you're gonna get mod loader minecraft forge client and you're gonna get the aqua culture so go ahead and get this from my description and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and if you guys are gonna install this for a server go ahead and get the server downloads as well you're gonna get a minecraft server dot jar aqua culture server and a minecraft forge server so go ahead and get this as well in my uh, description it's gonna take you to my website and just get all the downloads that you need and drag it here to the desktop and right after we're done with installing this for a client we're going to install this for a server please note that you have to have this installed for your client in order for this to work on a server so if you don't have it on a client it's not going to work on a server all right so let's go ahead and do this we're going to go here to start search your program file we're going to type in percent app data percent and for windows xp users you should see here run and you run percent data percent it should take you up here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft at the very top. When you go into your dot minecraft folder, you're going to see bin, resources, save, and everything else. Go ahead and go into your bin folder. Before you open up your minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder, you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed. Here's my minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your minecraft game before installing any mod, so exit off your minecraft game. Now you're going to right click your minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder, open with WinRAR or any 7 zip opener. If you don't have WinRAR, links in the description. So go ahead and open that up with WinRAR and move it aside. The first thing you have to do of course before installing any mods is to delete meta-inf. You have to delete meta-inf. So right click meta-inf and delete files. Say yes and delete meta-inf. Now meta has gone, now we can continue. You're going to open up mod loader, alright? So go ahead and open up mod loader by double clicking. You're going to move that aside. You're going to highlight the files from mod loader and simply drag it into the Minecraft thought jar side. And replace press OK and you are done with mod loader. Go ahead and exit off mod loader and move it aside. Now you're going to open up Minecraft Forge client. So go ahead and open that up and move it aside. You're going to see a ton of files. Select on any file that you like and press Control A to highlight all the files. You're going to highlight all the files from Minecraft Forge client and simply drag it into the Minecraft thought jar side. Wait a little bit and replace press OK and you are done with the Minecraft Forge client and the Minecraft thought jar size. So go ahead and exit off both the zips. Alright, so now uh, you make sure you're still in your bin folder where you open up your Minecraft thought jar with WinRAR because you're going to go back once. So go back to your .minecraft folder with bin, resources, save, and everything else. So if you don't have a mods folder, you have to create a mods folder just like me. So right click new and folder. So you're going to create a new folder in your .minecraft folder called mods, M-O-D-S. Alright, so go into that mods folder that you just created or you probably already have it. So go into there, you shouldn't have anything in here. If you have anything, go ahead and delete it or back it up. And what you're going to do is grab that aquaculture client and simply drag it into your mods folder. And that's it. That's basically how to install the mod. Go ahead and exit this off and go ahead and log into your game. And while you're in creative, you should have some of the fishes in your inventory and the fishing rod. So let me go ahead and go into my game, go into any creative world, and here I am. I am still in this awesome download world. It's freaking amazing. I love this place. All right, so uh, let me go into my inventory, which my key doesn't seem to be working, and scroll down. So I do have the fishes. Here's the Neptunium uh, bar and all that good stuff. All right, so once you have installed this for a client, let's go ahead and install this for a server. It's actually really easy. So let's go ahead and save our game and exit off your Minecraft game because we are done with that. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is get a Minecraft server.jar, aquaculture server, and a Minecraft Forge server download. So go ahead and get this all from my description. What you're going to do now is create a new folder in order to place the server within it. So I'm going to right click new folder and I'm going to call it server fish. Since it is a fishing server, I'm going to call it server fish. I'm going to grab this Minecraft server.jar. It cannot be a Minecraft server exe. It has to be a dot jar and it cannot be a bucket. So make sure that you grab this and place it inside this folder. All right, so go into your folder that you created, and you should have the server in there. Obviously, we did place it in there. What you're going to do is right-click that Minecraft server.jar, open with WinRAR, or any 7-zip opener. So you're going to open up your Minecraft server.jar with WinRAR. Go ahead and open that up and move it aside. Do not delete meta-inf. If you delete meta-inf, you will get black screen, and you won't be happy. So do not delete meta-inf. It's, it's totally opposite for the server. But uh, what you can do is open up the Minecraft Forge server. Go ahead and open that up and move it aside. You can see a ton of files. Do the exact same thing. You're going to highlight all these files by pressing Control a 
and simply dragging all of these files into your Minecraft server.jar. Wait a little bit and replace, press OK and go ahead and exit off everything because you are done. Go ahead and exit off everything and run the server once. All right, so once you have run it, you're going to notice that there's a ton of files that have randomly generated. And in this mods folder, we're going to place our aquaculture server. So just wait a little bit till this uh, prepares to spawn. And once it has reached 100%, go ahead and spell stop, S-T-O-P. And here is done. It says done. Now spell S-T-O-P. And now it's going to save the chunks. Now what you're going to do is simply grab this aquaculture server and drag it into your mods folder. So go into your mods folder that generated and go ahead and drag over the aquaculture. And there you go. That's basically how to set it up for a server. Go back one and start the server. And it should be able to work. And there we go. So uh, let's see. It did work. It says that mod loader in all Minecraft Forge has uh, loaded the uh, you know mod and there seems to be no errors if I log into the game I should be able to fish and catch some of these fishes really cool, right? So I'm gonna log into my game and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a um, Multiplayer direct connect and I'm going to add in localhost since that's the easiest way to connect to your server so localhost and I should be able to log in and if I game mode myself or may op myself I could just uh, you know give myself the items so I just game mode myself and now if I go into my inventory hey look one of those things just generated that looks really cool I did not expect that okay so if I go into my inventory and scroll down I should be able to see some of the fishes and here are the fishes so let me grab myself this iron fishing rod and place it into my inventory and I should not be kicked out it is still inverted because obviously that is a bug and now let me right click and you should be able to see the fishing uh, happening and if I happen to catch myself a fish I'll be really lucky because then I'll be really cool instead of just clipping this video I could be able to catch myself a fish and show you that it totally worked and I'm talking forever because I want this to hurry up and catch a fish come on come on eventually yeah there we go there oh man I was so late I can't believe that did I just screwed this whole thing up didn't I man this totally sucks oh, I thought that was another fish stupid bubbles man they, they totally tricked me this feels like a let's play series but a laggy one because I'm not recording with fraps or any of that good stuff I'm recording with another editing software and what the heck it's not going down oh yeah but anyways this is fishing right here hopefully you guys will enjoy this mod this mod is really cool this is basically how to set up for a server and all that good stuff it's just taking me a while to catch myself a fish um I think it's best to do it in an ocean I'm not too sure but oh there we go there we, yes I caught myself something there we go is this a bluegill I think it is nah it's one of those bra bra brilli brulet broody there we go broody now nah, I'm not sure what it's called I'm joking guys I don't know what this is called so I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a flower so I caught myself this flower and amazing all right so thank you guys so much for rating this video I really appreciate it I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later hey look speaking of the flower there's one right here let me throw that right there. So it did work for multiplayer. It's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Hey, man, it's your buddy Porkchop. You like the music in the video? Go ahead and subscribe to Josh Woodward right there the green box. If you like the review or the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my buddy SEM Owens. They're both nice people. They like me. They call me Porkchop, and they think I'm really cool. Just look at my eyes. Look what I could do with them. Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those two. It doesn't matter which one, maybe both, you know, maybe you're that cool, come on man.